Dr. Umar Johnson, a guy that for the last 10 years has not built brick one of a school he's collected money from. Right, you I mean Dr. Umar Johnson, the man yeah. who has two children by two different women that he never married? Dr. Umar Johnson, the guy that for the last 10 years has not built brick one of a school he's collected money from? Dr. Umar, oh, no, hold on, ma'am. Dr. Umar Johnson, oh. the man who calls you queen, mother, goddess, and all this other kind of stuff. And again, for those who are keeping score, this is another woman who comes on and says, Talk to us more like Umar. The Prince of Pan African. Big Papa's in the house. Run my donations. I mean, shout out to Umar. I got no problem with the dude, but I think it's funny y'all keep coming over here asking everybody to talk like Umar. Uh, Dr. Umar, you wrote something on Instagram the other day. You said there is a growing male YouTubian community that is creating a sector dedicated to slandering and criticizing black women who don't emulate Eurocentric standards of beauty and success. Unfortunately, Many sisters have become prey for these coons due to an unconscious need for male validation. Black women, you don't need a man to validate your worth. All right, so I wanted to get into an analysis as it pertains to Umar Johnson, Kevin Samuels, getting into a back and forth discussion and or exchange about a month ago in terms of Umar Johnson having a specific critique in terms of life coaches. Kevin Samuels responding back in terms of being questioned on the matter. We heard his viewpoint. Now we have to put things into context and perspective at a deeper level. Now are life coaches vital and necessary? To a certain extent, I would argue yes. For example, life coaches are tremendously helpful in terms of assisting individuals at the micro level, such as somebody within the context of the 30s and 40s, should have a solid education or aspire for a solid education, solid living space, let alone have economic stability. And one might even say, at this point, have a family. Now, the analysis as it pertains to such a micro viewpoint and perspective, in its simplistic terms, one should have their shit together by the 30s and 40s. Especially women, Black women, especially, and one might even say everybody. It's a multi-gender affair. No doubt crucial and important. But the analysis that Kevin Samuels often provides, and this is where Umar Johnson's critique comes into play, and this is why I find myself agreeing with Umar Johnson, is that Kevin Samuels is often exfoliating a very Eurocentric analysis as it pertains to beauty standards. So, for example, he often criticizes black women as it pertains to weight and or thickness. Therefore, they're not meeting specific beauty standards. One might even conceptualize them as being overweight. Now, this is where I find myself challenging Kevin Samuel's perspectives. Who said that women that are thick are not beauty and don't meet a specific beauty standard? Now, we have to put things into context or perspective at an even deeper level. Beauty standards, and this is where Umar Johnson's perspective comes into play, has long been defined through the lens of a Eurocentric viewpoint, a sort of Barbie doll perspective in terms of what attractive women look like and what attractive women should embody. Of course, thinness being one of those main crucial attributes. But we have to put things into context and perspective. Beauty standards are socially constructed such as through the Barbie doll perspective. Therefore, that social construct, that Eurocentric construct, should be getting challenged. That's the analysis that Umar Johnson is providing. That Beyonce, especially Destiny's Child Beyonce, Who's to say that shouldn't be the beauty standard? And in many ways, now it has become that beauty standard thanks to visibility tied to individuals like Beyonce being a part of the mainstream. Therefore, challenging in many ways that traditionally Eurocentric viewpoint and analysis. That's what Umar Johnson is articulating. 
don't demean black women by criticizing them because of weight issues, let alone excessive thickness. Umar Johnson is saying highlight that. Highlight that in terms of displaying how that's the standard that all of us should be aspiring to and therefore should be challenging that Eurocentric analysis, that Eurocentric socially constructive beauty standard and instead should be highlighting the beauty standard of an individual, especially Beyonce, especially during her Destiny's Child days. Therefore, beauty is a socially constructed standard and for the longest time it's been a Eurocentric beauty standard and Umar Johnson is saying the black community should be consensus in challenging that and instead highlighting the beauty standards of somebody like Beyonce, especially, especially the Destiny's Child Beyonce. Not to take away from the Jay-Z and Beyonce relationship and who she is now, but I'm just stating facts. Here's the analysis as it pertains to some of the viewpoints that Umar Johnson provides. Uh, Dr. Umar, you wrote something on Instagram the other day. You said there is a growing male YouTubian community that is creating a sector dedicated to slandering and criticizing black women who don't emulate Eurocentric standards of beauty and success. Unfortunately, many sisters have become prey for these coons due to an unconscious need for male validation. Black women, you don't need a man to validate your worth. Many people took that as uh, a sub, a shot at uh, Kevin Samuels, uh, the, on the online uh, advice, col uh, advice giver, relationship uh, expert. Uh, he, of course, responded in a video directly addressed to you. Uh, what were you trying to communicate with this? I don't want to assume that you were talking about him, although he certainly took it that way. One, were you talking about him? And two, what, what were you trying to communicate there? Yes, sir. My comments were not particularly directed uh, to that gentleman. And in fact, he had made some slanderous comments towards me in a video that he had uh, put together a couple of weeks ago. I saw that video, but I did not respond to it. I make it a point when at all possible to not respond to individuals whose intellectual competence I consider to be far below my own. But the message that I put out with regard to the quote that you just read speaks to a growing trend amongst the African-American male community, Dr. Hill, that seeks to blame black women for many of the trials, tribulations, failures of black males. And I don't think it's right. It almost reminds me of what I saw in the early black radical feminist movement, where I saw a lot of sisters making black men the scapegoat for problems that white supremacy had deliberately engineered in the black community. And now it seems like things have come full circle where we have a movement now known as the manosphere that wants to make the black woman the scapegoat and make her the blame for all things going wrong in the black community. My message is simple. The black woman is not at fault. The black man is not at fault. There are some things that each group needs to do better, but we need each other. The black family is under attack and we need to save the black family. It's not about scapegoating the women. It's not about scapegoating the men. It's about recognizing that the American white power structure wants to destroy the black family. And that's why you see so much attention being paid to the black woman or so much attention being paid to the black man or the black child. But rarely do you see enough attention paid to the black family. And the reason you don't see a lot of attention paid to the black family is if you want to save the family, you automatically have to save the black man, which means you have to do something about mass incarceration, miseducation, psychiatric medication, psychological frustration, suicide, for example, Dr. Hill, is the second leading cause of death for black males 1 to 19, and it is the third leading cause of death for black males 20 to 44, but that's not being discussed. So they would rather focus on either gender or the child as opposed to the family unit. Because if you focus on the family unit, you have to save all black people.